All right, everybody, welcome to Wednesday. I hope you're doing great. Let's see what's going on for the collective. This is a general message. Whenever you see these morning messages, they are absolutely uh, timeless. You can, if you're drawn to any of the titles, check it out. Give it a shot because I do date these when I post them. Uh, but I have been receiving quite a lot of letters about people who watched a reading from a year ago were like, that's my story. So, okay. So I'm, uh, I'm, uh, understanding my own intuitive process here is just what wants to come through today. And whenever this resonates for you, give it a shot. All right. Let's see where we're going today. What wants to show up today? This is the wisdom of the oracle that I have here. Oh my goodness. Time to go. Time to go, baby. Serendipity. I love that card. And the observer. So um, I'm just getting pretty loudly that there's been um, an opportunity to close out of a chapter. And some of you are like, okay, I'm closing out of the chapter. And then something shows up and you go, well, maybe I should just wait a minute. Maybe I should just try, hang on to this person or hang on to this job or hang on to this situation a little while longer. Uh, I feel like the, and you can just see this kind of in this, in these two cards that when you make the decision, the things, the opportunities are going to come across your path to go where you want to go. It's like, you can't hold on to one thing and grab onto the other. It's like being pulled. It's almost like the chariot card, right? Like you're being pulled in two different directions and energetically that creates nothingness. Okay. It creates like an absence of opportunity because the universe is a little confused as to which direction you're going in. And so the only way to, you know, some of you talk about manifesting a new job, a dream, uh, life, uh, uh, love of your life, a, uh, lots of money or whatever it is that you're really looking to bring into your life. If there is confusion in the frequency, if there is static on the line, it basically, what happens is it drops doubt into you. If you are super clear about what you're doing, then the opportunities show up and everything like that. You're like ready to go. You're saying, okay, this is what my plan is. I'm going to go in this direction. I'm going to put my energy in this direction. I show up at work, but I'm putting steps in place that is going to take me to the new job, business, whatever. So this is why side hustles are super important when you're working on uh, manifesting your own business, because a lot of it starts with side hustle. And if you're doing that, what you're doing is you're rent, you're basically um, emitting the frequency of clarity to the universe. And then the opportunities show up. And then the money shows up. And then the clients show up. And then the excitement continues and builds and builds and builds. And then you go one day, bye to that job. It was a means to an end. Okay. So I see that very clearly here, that if there's no decision to go in the direction of your dreams, then you're standing still. If there's no decision, it starts with a thought, right? It starts with a thought. The thought creates the feelings, the feelings of excitement. And then the feelings create the action and creates the attraction of the opportunities. And then there's the result. So if you're kind of in this, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, hmm, I don't know, just forget about it. If that's where you are, then that's where you'll stay, okay? So there has to be some kind of commitment here. And the way you get to that commitment is to really clearly see what it is that you want to create, very clearly, not just kind of like this murky, I want a lot of money. What's a lot? A lot of money to you, maybe not a lot of money to me or vice versa. Need to be specific. And then when you're, when you're kind of living in this, in this energetic expression of what you want to create, right? 
this or something better. Like maybe I can't even see how big this could be. Maybe I'm not even really dreaming big enough. But it starts with a decision. Okay, I'm seeing my I'm seeing my vision so clearly that I can make a decision. Yep, time for me to go. Yep, time for me to go. Um, the final one here is the observer. And I almost feel like there's something about people around you right now that are maybe not super supportive of this new dream or of this new direction, because that means you're going to go. Or that means that you know, a, a lot of, this is where the concept of frenemies have come from. They don't have to be enemies. They really don't. They don't have to be hurtful people or awful people or toxic people even. They just have to be killers of dreams and instillers of doubt. And, you know, people, a lot of people get very nervous when people change around them because it reminds them that they are standing still. And, so people don't like that. So they kind of undercut you a little bit. They kind of, are, oh, you think you should really do that? Boy, you know, we're coming up to the holiday season. I don't know. You know, there's just like these little killers of dreams everywhere. And they're very small and they don't have, but they, boy, they pile up. And they, you know, they just reinforce doubt. That's the killer of dreams is self-doubt. So let's see where the reading takes us today. And what wants to show up here for all of us. Okay. All right. So underneath is this three of swords and here's the chariot card. Wow. That's interesting. The chariot, the four of wands, the ace of cups, the queen of pentacles, the two of cups, and this hierophant energy here. There's definitely a decision. Okay. So there's two of pentacles showing up. I almost feel like some of you think, I'm just going to say this straight up. Some of you think you're not good enough for your dream. Some of you don't think that you'll be able to show up uh, in a compelling way, uh, either to the person that you're in love with or the, 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 um, you know, if you want the love of your life, some people don't think I'm good enough to have the love of my life. So I'm just going to kind of exist uh, in this either single place that I'm, you know, it's fine. Just a relationship that's just fine. Like there's nothing really great about it. But, you know, what if I lose it? What if I risk everything and I don't get anything in return? Um, that's not really a thing because you either learn or you grow. Okay. So that's not for nothing. Those things are not for nothing. Um, somebody here doesn't feel or hasn't felt, okay, hasn't felt. It's like you see the back of this person, right? This back of this person. You see the back of this fairy, <laughs> the back of the fairies. You see the backs of the fairies uh, because they're headed in a new direction. And this is like the three of swords. You see how he's... The chariot is kind of has his back to that three of swords. It's like, I'm not going to entertain that I'm not good enough thing anymore. That's old. That's behind me. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm really going to step into what I truly want in a very empowered way. The universe, see this set of cards, the cards that are underneath is what the universe is kind of moving around. Okay. <laughs> kind of moving around like things you're not seeing um, what's going on in the subconscious or the universal unconscious, what's going on? Like, how is Archangel Michael really moving the chess pieces around on the board? That's what this part of the reading is. Now, this is the conscious part of the reading, what we're seeing. King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Hanged Man, Nine of Pentacles, The Fool, The Justice Card, and the page of pentacles. So how you're showing up, king of swords. Super clear, super clear until you're not, the seven of cups. It's almost like you have a level of clarity that isn't really taking you beyond 
um, what you can see at the end of your nose. You're only seeing a certain, um, this is very logical, okay? The King of Swords is very logical. So you're, instead of going with your intuition, you go with your logic and that creates more confusion because if you're not seeing it in your immediate vicinity, then it doesn't exist for you. So it makes things heavier. Ten of Wands, there's just this feeling of um, how much will I have to do to get where I want to go? The opportunity, this is the opportunity card here. And the Ten of Wands says to me that it's time to put down this self-doubt. It's time to sort of surrender to the new opportunity, to the new dream. Surrender to the new dream. Okay. And then be confident in it. This nine of pentacles. I really love that. Be confident in that. Release and let go of all the old fears and doubts. Release and let go of that. It's just creating static on the line. It's creating confusion. And so here's the new path. The fool. Here's the new path. Now in a much more balanced way. And like a beginner's mind. Because the king of swords is very accomplished doesn't really have a lot of open mind for learning something new from anybody. King of Swords thinks I know it all. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. This is more of an open mind about being excited to go in a new direction. Okay. I really like that a lot. Um, there is love coming in. There is a love opportunity. And I feel like a lot of you, I've been having these readings show up uh, for quite some time now. I'm going to say at least a month where there's love percolating in the reading that is what we're not seeing, what we're not seeing yet. And I'm going to kind of ask this question about like, why not? Why aren't we seeing this yet? Why, you know, some of you uh, have seen these readings where all the stuff underneath is all this love and everything like that, but we're not seeing it showing up. So give me some cards on that. Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, look at that, Three of Cups, and the Sun. Um, some of you are holding back, okay? Some of you can see the vision, but you don't know the roadmap to get there. You don't know how to do it. Some of you have friends that are frenemies. Some of you have friends that are kind of tearing down your, your dreams and hopes. Some of you are really holding back and not really saying what it is that you want to create. And some of you have a lot to offer, a lot of passion, a lot of joy to offer. But you notice what I said when I said, that, like, look at that. You see how she's kind of covering up her heart? And this card is is um, very famous for uh, someone who is holding back. So there's this holding back energy. It's sort of like, you got to prove to me, universe, that you're really bringing this in. So I'm going to hold back on allowing myself to believe that it's coming. And what happens? It gets further and further down the road. I don't believe it can happen. I'm just hedging my bets here, right? I'm like, sure, universe, I want the love of my life. But I don't really believe it can happen. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to err on the side of being negative Nancy so that I can say, see, I told you so, this whole law of attraction stuff doesn't work and I'm just going to sit here and be on my own and la, 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 la. And so I hate everybody. Everybody eats worms. I hate everybody, right? Like, <laughs> You can see how easily that happens. And I've heard it from, I don't know, tons of people over the years that they want to dream, but they're afraid to sound like a dreamer. Um... So I'm going to clarify what this is. This page of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles about? Six of pentacles, ace of swords, death, and the four of swords. Um, some of so the page of pentacles is about a learning experience. And I feel like the truth, especially around money or finances, there's some kind of belief that if I... If I give more, I'm going to get less or I can't um, really go for what I want uh, because I don't have the money. I think there is some kind of honesty around the more I give, the more I get, the more I'm 
emanating my dream. The more I step into that dream, the more the road rises up to meet me. And I feel like that is a transformational change. There's a lot of healing that's necessary, whether it's around money or love or anything like that, that you're looking to manifest. There's a lot of healing that still needs and balancing that still needs and self-confidence that still needs and surrender that still needs to unfold. Um, so let's see a little bit about where we're going here. The fool and the justice card. This is a balanced energy. This is like, okay, I've surrendered to my dream now. I'm self-confident in what I want to create. Where are we going with this? Oops, I got this. Ace of Pentacles, Moon, Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Star card. The last card is last card here, last card here is about healing. So what we're talking about is healing our self-confidence. We're also talking about being able to recognize our fears, the five of swords and the moon. So we have a new moon in Sagittarius coming up in the middle of December. And this is really going to help us break out. That new moon energy is going to help us break out. Look at, he's looking at the moon, right? That's not a, that's kind of a new moon. It's a little first quarter moon, but it's kind of a new moon. So Sagittarian energy is about dreaming big. Dream big. All right. So I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign in the extended. We'll talk about what is being supported right now for you. I'll go deeper into uh, specific advice for each Zodiac sign and how to use this new moon energy, new moon in Sagittarius to really dream big. Um, Pathfinders in the new year, we are going to be talking about getting out of your own way in terms of intuition, how to recognize it, how to hear that voice how to recognize all the voices of fear, how to get out of your own way, all right? So I recognize Pathfinders as the core group of this channel, and if you want to be part of Pathfinders, please do. There is a link in the description box below. Pathfinders, we just keep on going with this reading, all right? Let's keep going. Link is below. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.